It's hard to breathe here. There must be something in the air. Oh, Spikey, that's because there's a lot of air pollution. What is air pollution? Air pollution is the introduction of harmful substances into the Earth's atmosphere. These substances are called pollutants. They include certain gases, dust particles, and other chemical compounds. Pollutants are released by both human activities and natural processes. In this video, we are going to learn about the sources of air pollution and its harmful effects. Air pollution is probably one of the most serious environmental problems that we are facing today. Most often, it is caused by human activities such as mining, construction, transportation, industrial work, and agriculture. However, natural processes such as volcanic eruptions and wildfires may also pollute the air. So, what exactly are these pollutants in the air? Can I see them? There are different types of air pollutants such as certain gases, soot, and dust particles. What types of gases, Mrs. Coco? The harmful gases released into the air include sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, oxides of nitrogen, and chlorofluorocarbons. Where do these pollutants come from? What harm do they do, Mrs. Coco? Good question. Let me tell you about the sources, harmful effects, and properties of these pollutants. Sulfur dioxide. The main sources of sulfur dioxide are electricity generation, burning of coal, oil, and natural gas, industrial processes, and emissions from motor vehicles. Whoa! So many major human activities release sulfur dioxide. Yes, Spikey. Sulfur dioxide is a colorless gas and has a very irritating smell. Inhaling sulfur dioxide causes breathing difficulties, particularly for people with asthma and heart disease. It is also one of the causes of bronchitis and various other lung diseases. Just like sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide also comes from the emissions of motor vehicles. The chimneys of industries also emit this gas. Can't we sense it in the air? No, that is why it's so dangerous. It's a colorless, tasteless, and odorless gas. Carbon monoxide causes symptoms of heart disease, such as chest pain. It can also cause vision problems and reduce physical and mental capabilities in healthy people. One of my neighbors was hospitalized because he left his gas heater turned on. I have heard that carbon monoxide was the cause of his illness. How is that possible? Some faulty gas heaters release carbon monoxide in the air. High levels of carbon monoxide in the air are very dangerous and can even be fatal. Nitrogen oxides are emitted into the atmosphere from motor vehicles and industrial processes. But they naturally occur in our atmosphere too, from volcanoes, oceans, and lightning strikes. Are nitrogen oxides a combination of oxygen and nitrogen? Yes. There are two nitrogen oxides that contribute to air pollution. Nitrogen dioxide, which is a dark brown gas with a strong smell, and nitrogen monoxide, which is a colorless gas with a sweet smell. Nitrogen oxides cause inflammation and irritation of our breathing passages. Nitrogen oxides combine with fog in heavily polluted areas to form something called smog. Exposure to smog can cause asthma, coughing, and wheezing. 
Chlorofluorocarbons come from sprays, refrigerators, and the creation of polystyrene and plastic containers. They can cause serious health issues such as skin cancer and damage your eyes. What if I get cancer tomorrow? No, Spikey, your condition is not serious. There are some short-term health effects and some long-term health effects of air pollution. What are the short-term and long-term health effects? Short-term effects, which are temporary, include illnesses such as pneumonia or bronchitis. They also include discomfort such as irritation to the nose, throat, eyes, or skin. Long-term effects of air pollution can last for years or, in some cases, an entire lifetime. They can even lead to a person's death. Long-term health effects from air pollution include heart disease, lung cancer, and other respiratory diseases. I hope you don't get any of these diseases, Spikey. Stay safe! To summarize, air pollution occurs when harmful substances are introduced into the Earth's atmosphere. It has many harmful effects such as heart diseases, lung diseases, and asthma. Two major sources of air pollution are transportation and industrial processes. The most common air pollutants are sulfur dioxide, nitrogenous oxides, carbon monoxide, and chlorofluorocarbons. <laughs>